friends and welcome back to my art studio. So today we are going to be painting more cards. We've done Frozen and we've done Moana and today we're going to do Lilo and Stitch. I'm super excited. This card deck that I'm making, I'm really just like going by the seat of my pants. I don't have a plan. I just pick whatever I feel like painting for the day, whatever characters I'm in love with for the day. I paint those. So yeah, let's just jump into it. Okay, so of course, as you saw in the previous video, we are using the Dose cards, which are basically very similar to Uno cards. Um, I'm going to just take washi tape, duct tape washi tape, and I'm going to tape off the white edge so that after we're done painting, we have like a crisp, nice white edge going around our card. I ruined the aesthetic with running out of blue tape and having to use red tape on that last card, but that's okay. I decided for the background that I wanted to do like a pastel purple and then kind of ombre it into a dark purple a little bit. Um, with these cards you definitely have to put a lot of layers. I don't have gesso or anything to prime so I just have to put a lot, a lot, a lot of layers and then mod podge them at the end and that's how I get it to stick. Um, and I also transfer all of my images onto the cards because I want them to look as close as possible. Um, so I do end up transferring them and I start with stitch and how you transfer is you just, you know, scratch pencil onto the back and then when you trace it, the pencil transfers onto whatever surface that you're working on. Um, it's kind of like tracing or like, you know, getting a nice solid sketch out beforehand. And yeah, I had the perfect colors for Stitch already. I didn't have to mix anything. Like the ones that came straight out of the bottle matched perfectly, which hardly ever happens, especially when I'm doing these cards and I want them to be like super perfect. Um, I never get to do that. I always have to mix colors and like match stuff, especially with skin colors. So with Stitch, of course, he doesn't have like a skin tone to match and the stuff out of the bottle matched perfectly, which makes me super happy. Um, Stitch is one of my favorite characters to draw because, in my opinion, he's just like a really easy character. I don't normally like transfer or trace for him. I usually can um, do it by hand, but for the sake of the card, just in case I messed up, I wanted it to be as close and perfect as possible. Um, there's like a million different poses for Stitch online too, but I love this one of him holding his face and sticking his tongue out. I think it's so cute. It kind of melts my heart. I just think he's so cute with his little tongue sticking out and he just looks so cute and squishy and I just want to hug him. Then we do like a thick black outline and this just honestly seals the character and like um, makes it look real and finishes it off with like its little fine details. And I think that stitch turned out like so good. I'm very proud of how his character turned out. I normally am. Um, I normally can draw him pretty well, so I kind of knew this card would turn out good, but I still love the way that it turned out, and I think that he looks really cute with the purple background, even though his ears in the background, like, the inner, the color of his inner ear in the background are almost the same color, but I think it's okay. The next character that I did was Lilo, and I decided to do her in her little, like, hula outfit instead of, like, her pink dress. Um, I don't have a reason for this, I just thought it was cute. <laughs> um, also, so, her, I know her skin color looks a little light, um, when I first put it on, but when it dries and settles, it's, like, the perfect tone, so I'm really glad that I didn't darken it. It is, like, perfect, in my opinion. The way that it settled against the purple, I think that it was just, it really helped it, and it's the perfect tone. Um, I like printing the pictures out as well, just so I can, like, match paints and stuff, and make sure that I'm getting the right tone so that's another reason that I always have like a picture printed um just for reference when I'm doing stuff like this when I think of Lilo in this outfit I just think of her fighting that red-headed girl <laughs> that's like all I think about when she when I see her in this outfit 
I also like this outfit more just because there's a little bit more detail to it. Like she has like the leaf crown and like the leaves on her wrists and stuff and like the hula skirt and versus like her normal outfit that she wears for most of the movie. It's just like a plain t-shirt dress. So I don't know. I just like this one more because it was a little bit more details and more fun. I feel like paintings always look pretty crazy like right in the middle of them like when I don't have like the final sketched out lines and stuff their faces look pretty crazy without like the right eyes shapes and stuff but you just have to trust the process and keep going and the more you layer it the better it'll look. <laughs> the black outlines always like just finish it up and make it crisp. And the next is Nani, of course. How can we leave her out? I feel like she's the most underrated character ever, and she's such a good person and influence. I printed both these pictures out because originally I was going to take that pose and put the shirt, the t-shirt with the heart on it, on her. But then I changed my mind and ended up just keeping the tank top. But I just really like the shirt that she's wearing and the one that's colored a lot more. But it was hard to find her stance when she just like looks happy and not like arguing with Lilo or something. I had a hard time finding like a good printout for the card. So I was going to mix them up, but I ended up changing my mind and just using the tank top. I just used the same skin color on her that I used on Lilo. And like I said before, it ended up working out great with the purple background. She wears khaki pants and a blue tank top. I think this is when she's like technically at work in the movie. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm like pretty sure that this is what she wears to work in the movie. Adding the outlines on Nani really changed it because I was thinking her face and her eyes were looking crazy but the more details I put the more I thought she looked good. And then unfortunately I lost footage to the fourth card but I did paint a fourth card this time. Um, really upset about it. The fourth card I did was Lilo stuffed animal and I have looked high and low for this footage. I looked at all my SD cards, I looked in my delete box, I looked everywhere. I cannot find it. But here it is. I painted it. I think it turned out super cute. And it was like the perfect character to add to this set. So I really like how it turned out, but I'm really sad that I can't find the footage for it. Okay, so recap. We have Stitch. We have Lilo. We have Nani. And we have the stuffed animal. <laughs> I love Stitch the most. I think that his character turned out the best. I think that it just like his proportions, everything just looks really good. I think, I just think that he turned out the best. And then with Lilo, I do really like it. Um, nothing really seems off about her. I think that it does look pretty good. Ignore that foot, because geez, that looks crazy. <laughs> With Nani, I feel like she looks the least good out of all of them, but she doesn't look bad. Her eye and her face proportions are just a little off, but I still like it. And then the stuffed animal turned out really, really cute, and she was fun to draw because she has so many cute details and stuff, and I wish that I had that footage, but I don't. All right, that's gonna be it for this video. Um, comment down below who you want me to paint next. Anything Disney or Pixar. I'm not, I'm gonna like mix Pixar and Disney together. Anything basically on Disney Plus is fair game. So comment down below what you would like to see and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Falling, oh.